In the meantime, a Lagos High Court sitting in a Keja area has granted a federal High Court judge, Justice Rita Ofili Adjumogobia, and a senior advocate of Nigeria, Gordon Obla, permission to travel abroad for urgent medical attention. The duo are facing charges of giving and receiving bribe from, by, give, brought against them by the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission. Justice Adjumogobia, through her lawyers, sought the leave of the court to travel to New York in the U.S. for urgent medical attention for hypertension and stress-related issues. The judge also granted a similar application by the second defendant, Gordon Obla, to travel to Houston, Texas in the U.S. for medical treatment. Two of the Evidence Act. A lawyer is not allowed under the Evidence Act to give evidence on transactions between his client and himself, except he has the pre prior permission of the client to use such evidence. So we are objecting to the prosecution, asking him questions of what he had done to the client. And that was one that cross-examination. I asked him whether he has gotten the uh, permission of the client to give such an evidence. That was the whole basis. And the judge says, okay, when the time comes, it will be taken into consideration. I'm aware that Section 192 of the Evidence Act generally precludes a lawyer from disclosing. But there are exceptions to it. Exception from um, Section on Section 192 shows that where such communication borders on crime or criminality, that communication cannot be said to be privileged any longer. And so if you check check our account or the information before the court, you will see specifically count 28 with alleged forgery of a deed of assignment. And the evidence of this man today was that he was not the one who signed the document. That is all before the court. That is, that is the, the essence of his evidence. That's why we are calling him. It's not for him to come and tell a story as to what and what transpired between the two of them.